Today I'm going to be telling y'all how you yourself can go and get you a Hellcat, Scat Pack, or an RT really at a young you. age. This has never been no rush. This has always been a part of the plan. And for you, this should never be no rush. It should just be a part of your plan. You know what you want to do. Don't be worried about it. If you got a hoop right now, that does not fucking matter. Because what? You know the plan. You know what's going to be going on in the future, my nigga. Do what you do. Make sure you wait until the right time, my nigga. And uh, yeah. I've been feeling like it's only money on my mind. Niggas telling me pull up and I ain't got the time. YouTube, man, it is your boy D Rich Lay begging in my world. As y'all can see, I got the braces on me now. I done been BSing on this channel, but I ended up having to leave my car all the way in North Carolina. And if y'all know, y'all know, I originally live in Houston. I'm gonna be out there for some months, but I left, had to leave my car there and come home for about a week and a half. That's why I haven't been posting on this channel. As y'all can see by that tonight, shit. As y'all can see by that title, bro, today I'm gonna be telling y'all how you yourself can go and get you a Hellcat. Scat pack or a RT at a young age. The main thing I'm gonna be talking about today, bro, is gonna be crazy. And I ain't gonna lie, this is the main thing that I done told y'all a lot of times. I'm so sick. I got one more thing to say. I'm so sick and tired of people saying that RTs is just the bullshit of the bullshit type. All right, let me let me get y'all a rundown of my car. So basically, me with my car, y'all y'all know that I have an RT Challenger and it's a 2023 version. Um, let me tell y'all, I'm trying to get y'all to understand that my car had almost no miles. In the long run, my car gonna be faster than that scat, so we don't even really care about that too much. But anyway, don't let, if y'all wanna go get you that RT, go get you the RT. So first thing you wanna do, my nigga, you 17, 18, 19, you can be 16, whatever you're doing, man, as long as you're getting money. First thing you wanna do is get you a job that's paying consistently. After you get that job that's paying you consistently, you want to make sure that your checks is coming in to one bank account. I ain't gonna lie. I say go with Navy if you got people that got Navy. The best thing you'll be able to do in the long run is get you a loan from Navy. No cap. Navy is the best people to go to for a loan or credit union is the best people to go to for a loan because they're going to give you a low interest rate. So you're going to keep on getting them checks to come into that account. Try to get you a good job. And if you don't get you a good job, just make sure them checks is running in there for some, like a, a good amount of time. This ain't no rush. You're going to have them checks going into their cool six months. Depending on what you're getting paid, it's not no rush right now. You 16, you 17. But if you're 18, you, you, you need to try to get you a job that's paying good for, for, you know, for them. Getting them checks going to that account. Now... You want to ask one of your parents to put you as an authorized user on their account. Now, there's a thing called bad credit. If your parents have bad credit, you don't want to be on their, their account as an authorized user. Because what you're doing now is you're building your credit up through their name. And you don't want your credit to be bad just like theirs. Basically, you're getting their credit. And that's, all, it's, that's only if you don't have any credit at all. If you already have credit, then you don't have to take that route. But if you don't have credit at all, you 16, you need to start this early. You need to be trying to uh, get on their stuff. So you can have all of their history, all of their good credit history, all their good payment history, and you're gonna need that in the future. That's, just, that's a very key part. For example, I got my Navy account when I was 16 years old. This was on purpose. And at the same time, my mama was put me on as an authorized user to her account when I was 16 years old. So I've been building my credit from 16 to, then, to now. I didn't have a credit card until, what was that, 19 last year, but you don't have to take that route. I only did that because I didn't need a credit card at the time. I was just using my cash. Which, if I would have known back then, I would have been using that credit card. I could have been had way, a way higher score than what I had at that time. But that's what I'm trying to tell you. So, boom. Become an authorized user. When you get your credit score to about a 670, if it's not even higher than that, if it's a 700, you need to go get ahead and get your credit card. And when you get that credit card, this is something that you can never forget. Do never, never do this. Never spend any money that you don't have on that credit card you're gonna use that credit card like it's your debit card so you're not gonna spend nothing that you do not have i wouldn't even say unless you know you're gonna get that money don't spend it until you got that money because what you want to do is you want to pay that credit card off at the end of every month i do it to where it don't ever hit my statement but that's that's something you don't have to do it that way and you want to make sure you pay it before the due date though the due date is on the first of every month pay it on the 29th the 30th the 31st just to make sure that your payment history is always exceptional my my payment history i have zero late payments on my uh, on my account so that helped a lot when it came for me to get this car you don't never want to have no late payments that is the number one thing with credit you never want to have late payments think about it like this you loan one of your friends at school twenty dollars right they tell you they're gonna give you, give you the twenty dollars on monday that's the agreement that y'all have y'all both have a mutual agreement okay boom monday comes and he don't give you that money bit all right, bet. You're going to say, you know, you're going to give him a day. Be like, all right, bet. I'm going to give it to you tomorrow. You're going to give him a day. You come back to school tomorrow again. He don't give you that money. But now what that means? Somebody doing some fucking. 
So now, basically what the bank is thinking is that you're doing some fucking and they ain't gonna wanna fucking give you your money. Nobody's gonna give you any more money. Nobody's gonna loan you any money if you are not paying that money back when you told them you was gonna pay it to them. So yeah, do never use no money that you don't have in your account. The reason why I'm telling y'all to use your credit card like it's your debit card is because if you get a good card, it will give you money back for spending money and you will get something called points, credit points. And I use that for anything. Flights like bro, I just came back home. Y'all know I had to come back home. I got free flights with that. Free uh you can get you can get money back with that. Like literally, okay, so I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna just tell you my business right now. I had 44,000 points when I left and I already used the flight before I got but anyway, 44,000 points. That's four hundred dollars. That's four hundred and four hundred wait. Four hundred and forty dollars worth of points that I got just from spending money on that card. So you're basically getting money back for spending money on that card. That doesn't come with every card. But when you get there, you're going to be able to do that. They want to use that credit card like it's a debit card. Build that credit history. Build that payment history up. Boom. That's a little enough talking about the payment history. Now, what you want to do is you can build your credit up. Now, you got you a cool amount of history. You got you that card. Now, what you want to do is you want to look around. Make sure you're ready to make this big, big step in your life. Because now, it's time to start focusing on your credit score. Even though that was, that was part of the main focus. You're going to be looking at it a little bit, but now it's really time to focus on that score. What you want to do is you want to get you experience. Experience shows you your scores. If you pay $27 a month, you should see all three of your scores. If any one of them scores don't match up, you can get them changed. You can get them that highest score to show on all three of them scores um, just by disputing that, but that's a story for another time. Boom. You're going to look at your scores now. You're going to see. All right, bet. Now, once you see that you got about a cool 700, I, I ain't going to lie. Depending on how long you had that Navy account, if you listen to me and you had that Navy account since you was since you was 16 or 17, and you didn't waited a couple of years and that that you know them uh them all of them checks is going to that account, Navy is gonna do something good for you. You gonna go on there, you gonna look for you gonna you gonna um you gonna look at your credit score. If you got that 650, like 650 to 700. Navy might give you a good little deal. I don't know. Navy might just give you a good little deal because I know some people who have done it. Trust. Um, but yeah, me, when I got my car, I had a 740 credit score, but I've been doing this for a long time. And I've been working to get here. Whatever uh financing company you want to go with, and you're gonna see what they're gonna give you for the price of the car that you want. Now, if you didn't have your eyes on a car specific, a specific car, then you're gonna, you know, go in there, you're gonna get them the amount for the car. Okay, boom. Uh you got the amount for the car. Say that they told you, I'm going to give y'all my example, 39000 So I had a 740 credit score with 39000 for a $39,000 car. Even though the one that I was originally looking, looking at was that price. Ended up getting one for like 38 something. But, um, yeah, so $39,000 car. They gave me 6% interest. Can't lie to y'all. For the people that know, y'all know. 6% interest is on the low end. But that's only because of what I told y'all to do. So if y'all take these notes... And y'all listening? I hope y'all writing this shit down. Y'all gonna come out like me. I'm trying to tell y'all early on. Like I know, bro. I literally been getting texts like all week. I got a video that's blowing up right now because people want to talk bad about my car. These kids talking about, bro. How do I get a car like yours? I'm trying to tell you, bro. You got one year or I give it two years max, and you can be in the same position that I'm in right now as long as you got the money to be doing what I'm doing. You feel me? People tell you, you know, you want to save up ten bands. You know, this and that. Okay, bam, bam. Let me give y'all this. If you in see, if you 16, 17, of course you want to save up that 10 bands first. Of course you will want to do that because number one, you gonna need money to pay for these car payments. If you got a job that's paying you at least six to seven hundred dollars, I say every two weeks. Even if you getting that every week, that's great. Every two weeks, that's good because you don't have any other bills right now. You 16, 17, you still living with your people. Some of y'all may be. If you're not, then you know you can still wait on a long end. But look. If you got six to seven hundred dollars a week, yeah, but you still want to have some money saved up just in case anything go wrong, just in case you end up, you know. So I say save up five bands on the low end. Save five bands on the low end, and then you know, as time goes on, you can still save up more, put more money to the side just in case anything happens. Um, but if you sixteen, seventeen, get that ten band saved up. It's gonna take you a minute to get there, but this is no rush. You have years. You you still got time, bro. You're going to be there. You're going to be so sad that you ain't having, you're not going to have nothing to worry about. You see, you like the prices that they give you. You're going to take yourself up there to the dealership. You're going to go up there to that dealership. You're going to talk. What you're going to do is you're not going to get them that check. You're not going to tell them how much you got approved for. You're going to go up there. You're going to tell them, oh, um, 
Well, I ain't gonna lie. It's something about this card that I don't like. You know, I mean, I've I seen another one and I kind of wanted one that was more on that side. But I'm not really liking the price that they're talking over there. So how much y'all talking about this one? He gonna tell you the original price. For some reason, they like to fuck over there at the dealerships. I don't know why they like to fuck. But let me tell y'all something. We don't get fucked over here, type. You feel me? We do the fucking. So what we do is we tell them, we say, hey, can you shave this off? Because they're going to try to throw you some bullshit. They're going to try to throw you something on there that they, that they can take off. I got $2,000 took off. My car was originally $41,000 and I got them down $2,000 even though I really could have did better. I really could have did better. And I know I know y'all trying to say I didn't have no miles on the throw. So that's the only reason why I wasn't really tripping because I wanted that car that bad. But you about to do that fucking you finna get, get him to shave off anything. Y'all see, he gonna give you a little paper that's gonna show you everything, all the details, man. Shave that shit off. Shave that shit off because I don't need this. They gonna try to throw something up in there that's like taxes and fees. Man, them taxes and fees is bullshit. All them taxes and fees is bullshit. Something on there you can get took the fuck off. Literally, the dude brought me the paper. He said, all right, bet. So can, if I get this and this took off, will you be able to buy today? My nigga, like... I'm not fucking signing shit, so yeah, I'll buy it today. I still could be looking elsewhere, but my nigga, you already told me the bet. This the price. Don't tell them how much you can got for it. You don't want to tell them that you got thirty nine thousand because they're gonna try to tell you, no, nah, that car thirty nine thousand. Hell no, nah, I got thirty seven for you. <laughs> I got thirty seven, thirty six maybe. You just might get that car. This is no rush for nobody, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I be putting y'all in my business, but I really don't care, bro. Basically, something had ended up getting put onto my credit that wasn't supposed to be put on there set me back a couple of months because i had to get that taken off this has never been no rush it's just always been a part of the plan and for you this should never be no rush it should just be a part of your plan you know what you want to do don't be worried about it. if you got a hoop you right now that does not fucking matter because what you know the plan you know what's going to be going on in the future my nigga don't be worried about what nobody telling you and just like how I got the regular RT right now, <laughs> the motherfuckers going to be fucking wishing that they would have never said nothing to join the team when I was early. I mean, join the team early, just like you did, my nigga. So, yeah, uh, if you want to go get that motherfucking me RT, you want to go get that scat teasy, you want to go get that Hellcat, do what you do. Make sure you wait until the right time, my nigga. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to get with y'all, boy, later on. I got another video coming for y'all. I'm going to be putting the starlights in my goddamn, uh, 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 Arteezy, but I need a name for my car. If y'all haven't seen my car, it's orange. Y'all know I got that cinnamon stick. Go follow me on Instagram, Lane Six. Go follow that. But yeah, y'all know I got the uh, the color. I was calling it the fox. I was calling it peaches and cream, candy yams. I fuck with the yams though. The yams, I fuck with the yams. I ain't gonna cap. But I ain't gonna lie. Uh, y'all let me know down in the comments what y'all wanna do. What the name is? And I got too much to say, man. We taking over this shit. I been feeling like it's only money on my mind Niggas telling me pull up and I ain't got the time